Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with the Fiber Seed, and it is Whip Wednesday where I share what I've been working on. Which are things mostly dying that you can't see. Here, well, I mean, results of dying in the past. But anyway, let's get to what I've been working on. As you can see, I finished my 22 cal by Caspinka. So it is nice and cozy, and I'm telling you what, it went by so quickly. Like, if you're sitting there and just, like, knitting instead of doing what I do. But if you do what I do, you can also get it done in a reasonable amount of time. You'll get it done quickly. So here it is. This is my 22 cal. Um, I'm using Viva Magenta, which is this color here. I also have it in a swatch. Did not plan this, but it works out that way. And then using Candy Hearts, our Valentine's colorway. I think there are a couple left in the shop. So you could always make your own pairing of this to make your own 22 cal. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Wasn't too much. And here it is. It's all done. Yay! Finished object number like three of the year. I don't know. I have to look at my list. I'm keeping a list now, y'all. Past me made a spot in my planner for projects. And now I can go and like check off what I've done. I should probably though write down project I want to start. And that way I don't go, hmm, what was I going to do next? I can't quite remember. And it doesn't help that I have like patterns with yarn over out of shot over here um because that doesn't help when you have 10 of them so anyway i'll get to that i know i have sweaters to make babies because my nephew has no sweater and so is my new niece so sweaters might be making had here that made no sense i'm making sweaters in my future but they're small and those don't take long because i've done that before anyway what else have I been working on? My sweater. <laughs> so this is a Tula sweater by Knit Sisu. Super easy to follow. La la la. So anyway, I'm in that part of it where it just still, I get a bunch of inches done and it doesn't look like it did anything because it's the bunch of inches that are with the bunch of inches. Yeah. So this is using Peach Fuzz on Sprout DK. Um, yeah. I need to try it on so I can see how far I've got left to go because I can always measure it like, you know, you can and find out. But, you know, trying it on makes it that much more real that you're making a sweater instead of just measuring it. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Super excited about this because once I'm done with that, I got the sleeves and then I'm done. And I know Sleeve Island, right? It is not happening this time. No Sleeve Island. We got to get through this because I'm going to be wearing this. And then my mannequin will be wearing this at Carolina Fiber Fest. I said it. Now it's got to happen, right? So anyway, that is what I'm working on with that. And then, and then, and then, I did swatches this weekend because we are working on switching over the website. Woo! I mean, it's exciting. It is super exciting, but it is also super stressful. Anyway, because you realize you don't have pictures of things, and then you have to do things, like make things. Anyway, so I made some swatches and I'm going to share them with you because I made swatches like a bunch of them. Apparently I also crochet way faster on swatches than I knit. I mean, I still knit swatches pretty fast now that I've made hundreds of them and that's not an exaggeration. All right. So I made up a crochet swatch of Lost in New York. So there's that. I already had this one. See, it's been hanging in the, I, now I did steam block the, all of the ones I did have that I made pairs for. So that's how that looks. Yay! And then I made a crocheted version of Lavender Oak. Lavender and Oak. I can't even say my own name right. Okay, so Lavender Oak. Okay, when I was making this, like, I started envisioning all these sweaters that I could make out of besprinkled. I mean, oh, it's so pretty. So, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you show it. But, ta-da-da! So, that is that. I mean, there's so many pretty sweaters you can make with that. Anyway, that's lavender and oak. So that's a besprinkle. The other one's a kaleidoscope. And then I realized I don't have tonal. I mean, other than my samples, which are samples, but also I didn't have swatches of <clears throat> a tonal solid. So I made one. So this is Midsummer Night, knitted and crocheted. Da -da -da -da. How pretty is that? Again, getting sweater vibes. So... I also see that as a thing that I make in my future. Anyway, again, got to write them down in the knitting project book so that I don't forget what I'm planning, even though I don't have a plan yet. I just have an idea. So 
I see sweaters though, off in piles with patterns. So now I remember what I had to do. But there are more yarn to wash, more yarn to dry because we have a, a um, Lamekin's Hideaway retreat this Saturday. And then two weekends after that, we have Carolina Fiber Fest. So if you want to know where we're going to be, because show season's about to start, go to the website. I have links in all the places to the events page. And you'll see where we're going to be so far this year. Anyway, until next time, though. Happy crafting.